Yeah, what, what led you to, um, to come to that decision of really deciding, right, I, I need more wild in my life and taking that year out and, and mm. yeah, t- removing well, yourself? Well, really, it was really coming from a place of um, having been an environmental campaigner with different grassroots organisations, but most, most of the time the Wilderness Society for the better part of a decade in my um, kind of early adulthood and, and 20s and realising that the root cause of the ecological crisis was not a lack of information about what was going on, but a lack of connection. Mm. Um, and it was that, that disconnection, that separation that the modern world um, has experienced to the natural world, um, which is one of the hallmarks of the modern world, really, is this sense of isolation, alienation from the more than human world. And I saw that that was really the source of our problems. Um, because if we love an area or if we, or if we connect deeply to a, an area or an animal or, a, um, you know, just that sense of the web of life, like really having that sense of belonging, then it's, it's just a natural movement to, to care for that place. It doesn't come from a sense of shoulds, but it's really, um, it's really just an inherent extension of that care. Um, so I came to see that that was the problem and that I needed to start the solution with myself. Um, that was part of the reason was to really kind of heal that rift of separation within myself. But it was also coming from, um, just a deep soul calling. I'd started studying wilderness survival skills and and deep nature connection practices. And they spoke to me more than anything else. Um, you can probably hear the white cockatoos coming through the valley. Um, the yeah it spoke to me more than anything you just it was just like an inextricable pull like this made more sense than anything else and it was um it was but it was as much a feeling of the wild psyche pulling me in as i was moving towards it Mm. so there was this again this kind of feeling of moving towards something that i was that was moving towards me Mm. um and it was about um really going deeply into the wilderness of my inner world and the kind of um, underworld numinous experience as it was about exploring the kind of um, wild crafting skills and ancestral life ways, which, you know, they're so mutually um, supportive, both those pathways, yeah. of the inner and the outer wild. Yeah. Yeah. 